Two tone, how's your routine going? You seem under the weather. You seem upset. You seem mad. You seem docile. You seem uh, confused. You seem tired with the world. Um, world weary. How's the mental capacity? How's the mental capacity right now? I'm just shot out, pretty much. I don't know. Um, couldn't really tell you. Mm. Can't quantify it, but I'm definitely shot the fuck out at this moment. So my tolerance gets very low when I'm shot out. I just get very like, you know, usually I'm in, I'm at a nice crumbly six mm. and I'm just at a shitty two right now where I'm just like, it's don't fuck with me, you know, but you just that shitty two. You're like a junkyard dog. You're like if Omar had like, you know, if Omar had some spunk, if Omar had just like that last zest of life. And someone like stepped on her tail and God, yeah. she just bite her, you know? She, she's got a little she's got a little juice left. Uh Jason really does look he's got a headband on and he just looks like just like a young He looks like he's like young. in the, the metal underground parking lot. Or or if he it's like he's like the he's like a young Croatian man who's obsessed with a Rambo. And this is her this is his access into America is via Rambo's headband. And he wants to be, and and also kind of has a little deer hunter vibes, which which I think would be a great entry point for him. Jason and I, on this show right now, we should play Russian roulette. Have you seen the? Um, have you seen the portrait that this guy did of you eating a baby? Yeah, that what happened with that? What happened with that? <laughs> I don't know, but he blocked you. <laughs> Did he block me? I think he blocked me. Listen, he blocked you. I, I, I follow this guy. I reposted it. He, you did? And he hated that. He didn't I, listen, he doesn't he he wasn't doing it because he like, you know, it's not, he is there something about the liberal hegemony or something and, and um No, the hegemony right. just it's like a horrible name for the painting. No, well, I was just like I'm a mon he painted me as a monster. Right, but he's he's it's it's it, look he his he does his paintings, he has his t-shirts. It's probably he might maybe be the best t-shirt artist on the planet because he does like really in my opinion like some of the funniest shit. And yeah. but then he'll like you know like he did <laughs> he did something like he did he did something uh I'm so my brain so mush but he did like a he did something about Virgil and then he blocks Virgil. And then yeah, he paints you eating a baby. And he, then, he blocked me. And then they, so I don't. That's amazing. <laughs> I mean, it's like, he like, but also, well, the, you know, it's it's I like I reposted it. I reposted yeah, it. Yeah, but he doesn't want you to repost then, it. He wasn't. He wasn't. He he's 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 making a commentary on on the on your 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 nuclear level wokeness and um and you know the pen. Listen, the pendulum. The pendulum. Hi, Gabby. What's up, dude? Oh, what's up? How are you? Oh, hey. Hi, it's Gabby. Gabby. Gabby Lamborghini in the flesh. Is here? Yeah, she's just... With the gun? This. We're... <laughs> <laughs> what's we're, up? We're going, we want dark. Just jump in. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get off of that. Tritone was just about to do Russian roulette for the first time. Yay. Gabby's here. Can you hear me? I haven't seen Gabby since like I think I FaceTimed you a few times in the quarantine. In the beginning of the quarantine. Yeah, like yeah. I was like walking. One of us. What was happened in down the middle Virgil. of the quarantine? Why only at the beginning? We've been checking in. We, we, check we, in. we checked yeah. in a couple. She's like, What's up? How are you? She's like, I'm gonna jump out of window. I'm like, cool. I'll see you on the ground. You do this thing though, where you like don't respond for a while. Yeah. And then I come yeah. back, and then he's back. But I texted you he a few respond. times. Doesn't respond. But not not for any other reason. But I get like distracted by 20, 20 of them whatever i, I have no yeah. excuse you know what how about this <laughs> no no fear no excuses I'm, I'm an asshole that's why i don't there he is cheers cheers okay. no fear cheers. no excuse. i apologize cheers. <laughs> hey maddie hi gabby nice to meet you, <laughs> nice to meet you. thank you for coming on Thanks yeah hell yeah on. yeah we have Thanks a really having... we have a really let's good catch, podcast let's catch gabby Morning. up quickly um so this guy made a painting of me and i reposted it and then he blocked me <laughs> What? He no. made a painting yeah, of you. Well, yeah, the, the painting. Well, I think I, the, I think I'm, was, the, I'm a. He was ripping Maddie for being for being uh, ultra uber woke, and Maddie 
doesn't uh maddie doesn't maddie doesn't see all spectrums of 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 color and humor he just kind of sees like maddie and then he reposts maddie and he didn't understand that the guy was kind of like fuck you maddie <laughs> and the guy didn't like it so he blocked maddie which is like you know it's it's who cares about anything really but it's right who cares about anything it's incredible it's all incredible because like, I, I i was getting text messages from some some homies they were like texting me like oh sick and then like screenshotted it yeah and a couple of people like hit me up and it was like all my like cool friends so obviously the guy who made it i've never seen the guy's account or anything yeah and then like the dude made a painting of me like eating a child on a plate <laughs> and just what do you say liberal fucking hegemony yeah or liberal some... extremist hegemony yeah some shit and I'm just like some, you know, capitalistic pig or some poser or something. Okay. It's great. <laughs> okay. So you're a poser. And, but pig. I reposted it because obviously, I literally anything I, like Two Tone says, anything I see, Maddie, I'm just like repose. Yeah, yeah of course. Sure, it's yeah. Like something. Yeah. It's a yeah, thing. Yeah. It goes into the machine. Right. Exactly. Yeah. If, I'll if it was even you that reposted it, it could have been one of your people, and then they should be fucking crucified for doing that because. Yeah, you it could have been Danielle. Yeah, could have been Danielle. Let's drag Danielle up in front of the people's court right here and just tear her a new one. Yeah, let's hear it. It's about time. Yeah, let's let Danielle, Gabby. She's not in here. She's well, not in this room. Let's, right uh, let's she's go, not in my beautiful studio. Let's let Gabby go heads up. <laughs> it is beautiful. <laughs> yeah, who's Danielle? Danielle's one of his people. Okay. Is, what is this? Did you ask for water? No, I didn't, but now I have it. Why would you, you break? Look at this. What look. Is, <laughs> why would you? <laughs> no, thank just, you. I really appreciate it. <laughs> We you, only drank lots of water. Maddie's on the health kick. You looking slimmer, Maddie. Do you, uh, how's it going with the diet? Um. Oh, you slipped. I just ate a shawarma. I ate a shawarma salad. No bread. Oh, okay. I'm still doing good. Okay, I that's good. I haven't had like fast food in four we four weeks now. It's amazing. That's a lot. No sugars. No sugar. You're off the sugars. Uh, Did you have a bad come down? No, I'm. Uh, no. Huh. I don't think so. But this I, I, I think that this I This fucker failed. right here, she looks like she just eats whatever she wants and she stays real thin, right? Am I wrong? Do you no, just you're say, right. eat whatever yeah. you want? Yeah, yeah. yeah I can yeah. tell. Oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah. You, you can tell she's DNA? got that metabolism. I, yeah. I must, yeah. Yeah. Strong. You have strong DNA, strong genes. Strong thin She's just DNA. feeding chalupas into her, like just. I, I, yeah, definitely. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't do anything health wise. Yeah. yeah. I, when I hugged her, I could I could have read, I could have, I could have held her whole waist like this. It was like real thin. Every girl's envy. Just. Yeah. Mm, cinched yeah. you know and just feed just just Perfect. she wakes up just slams down some mike and ike's has a milkshake i do a monster oh. energy drink monster. too <laughs> just <laughs> i do that's how i start my fucking day yeah, that's it's, it's really every close day wake up crack a cold one i used just to i used to have monsters every fucking morning oh my god isn't really? that disgusting an adderall every morning oh wow oh yeah. nice <laughs> oh yeah oh holy shit <laughs> focus up focus monster, up hold the yeah. fucking door monster and adderall because i i had yeah, an yeah. adderall thing for a minute and i would do like a five like the smallest dose yeah, and yeah. have a cup of coffee and be so like oh, you're just, it's like you're just like perfect you are such a fucking 80s coke lawyer asshole yes. wall street cocksucker mm, you're yes. just like and I'm just, I'm in the house and I'm like, I'm going to hyper focus on 87 porn windows instead of my job, <laughs> you know, or like, I'm going to hyper focus on like drawing <laughs> this like one banner and like, you know, there's like a yeah. pile of work to do. For I'm seven all, hours. Ooh, I'm yeah, doing you're it. Gonna try, like when you're doing your gravestones, yeah. you're just drawing all your sure. gravestones. I've yeah. never done Adderall. I've you're missing Adderall. out. That was my favorite shit. Maybe, yeah, maybe you're not missing out, so, but it was good. I had a legal script too. I, I had to it. Focus. Yeah, I, I did some cool like sobriety drug seeking where I went to a shrink and I was like, you know, I'm just like, I don't know, I just can't focus so much, you know. I, <laughs> well, do you guys you have did, any? You did that? Oh fuck, where'd I did it go? That, yeah, uh, you did that in sobriety. Oh, I did it in sobriety in a previous. My mic know, just went out. I think. So yeah, I I, uh, I did some drug seeking and I went to a I went to see a shrink and I was like, yeah, I don't know, um, I just I can't focus so well and you know I'm I'm bouncing on and I'm like, do you guys do you know, like, what do you guys have for that? I don't, I, I don't know. He's like, well, we'll try this thing. It's called Adderall. I was like, okay, I'm, you know, obviously I wanted fucking Adderall mm -hmm. and I'm taking Adderall. And like, I just started like out of nowhere, I'm taking Adderall. I'm like, you know what I need to start doing? I need to start doing graffiti again. This is like, <laughs> I'm just like out, like tagging on shit. Like I just completely was. This is a good idea. Yeah. Like just, and, and the thing about Adderall is like Adderall and coffee is just like, it just levels up. Oh, it's so a perfect combo. Adderall and monster. Oh yeah. Fuck. Yeah, fuck me up. That was what kind, is there different kinds of monster or is it just like monster? Just, just the, one. The classic green is the one I was on. Mm. The classic mm. green. The classic. Yeah. And what 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 got you to the place where you're like, that's the perfect cocktail? Like what what like what were you doing where you're like, I need a monster 
in Adderall. <laughs> high school. That was high it. School. I high was in high school and I was like, ah, yeah, math class. My fucking math class where I was just like, I got to fucking study. <laughs> I got a crunch. And I didn't do well. I never did well, but I could sit there and learn. And study. Study. Fake learn. Yeah, it failed. Still definitely failed, but. Did was, it give you social anxiety? Yeah, exams? definitely. Oh, yeah. So bad. Jason. Yeah. J- Jason, how much, how much Adderall did you do daily? I would do 25 milligrams. Yeah. What? Turned me into the Terminator for four years and probably did irreparable damage. Wait, how did you know that? Absolutely. Maddie, how did you know he did Adderall? Because when we were going to get, when we went to that Morisco's truck, he was talking about how he was (laughs) Adderall because he was such a weirdo, and he was opening up to me and just (laughs) talking about this thing, and I'm just airing him out. Now I'm just airing him out. Yo, 25. So he was just talking about being like, you know, whatever, like (laughs) all through high school. 25 megs of Adderall is fucking heavy. That's a lot. Is that a lot? That's yeah, it's heavy. a lot. Yeah, I mean, for me. 30, 30, I would do like 25, 30 and a monster and just fucking. Do I have the dosage wrong? Is it, what is it? Is there a five? Am I tripping? There is a five, yeah. That's that's the mellow boy stuff. Yeah, like they, they prescribed me 30 a day and I would do five to 10, maybe 15. Like I just, because I was being, mm. I was being very, um, is that where you, I, I wasn't abusing it. You know, I was being very conscientious. No, of like you're very calm with drugs. Yeah, yeah, Good, good yeah. for you. I, ha- I was. <laughs> Yeah. You've never <laughs> Tw- railing twenty five Adderall as a fucking as a hormone filled. So teenager. you snort it or you just take it as a pill? I would just take it as a pill. Yeah, I took it. I didn't snort it. I didn't. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't okay. get into the snorting. It's not like MDMA or or whatever. No, well, it's, it's the orange I like ones to that snort they, MDMA. It's the orange ones oh. that they crush up and snort, right? The 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 pressed ones. Yeah, yeah. I had the time release. Yeah, that's the good shit. The orange ones. Yeah. yeah. Do you like get the little ups I never, and downs did you have and those? ups? Oh hell yeah. Oh really? Oh yeah. That's the old school one, right? Before they put mm-hmm. it in a, in a ta- in a pill. A little capsule, yeah. Cool, cool, mm. cool podcast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Gabby, where'd you go to high school? Oceanside. Oh okay. Yeah. Near the big tits. Near the big tits, San yeah, Onofre. Yeah, yeah. yeah, the big fat fucking tits. Yeah, when you drive to Ocean. That, that's by San Diego. It's like forty-five minutes north of San Diego. I okay. feel like Oceanside mm-hmm. has a little bit, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I think there's something that's hap- that happens coastally in Venice to Long Beach to San Diego where there's like this weird, like, it's like cholos, surfers, gang members, and they all merge yes. in the water somewhere. Yes. And there's a vibe that happens, right? Yes. Where you have like, there's just a mixture uh-huh. and, and it, it happens coastally when the neighborhoods hit the water. It's so, it's so okay. fucking true. It's so, it's like, I've never seen anything like it. Right. It's yeah. such a Southern California weird fucking. Yeah, there's a weird, tri- there's a triangle mm-hmm. where just like, it's like, mm-hmm. and I don't know, because we had, in our neighborhood, we had Cholos, we had Crips, yeah. and we had yeah. surfers. Did you yeah. guys have that? You had- Absolutely. We had um, a lot of lot of Samoans, so oh, there was yeah, a yeah, big, a yeah. uh, mm-hmm. lot of bloods. Mm-hmm. But yeah, all that, Cholos, surfers, drug addicts, yeah. all of it, they all come to one thing. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then you get, that's when, that's where. You just go to the beach. That's it. You go to the beach, and that's where Sublime was born, Fuck you know? Fuck yeah, it was. Oh. Yep. Fuck yeah, it one was. Of Sublime's favorite bands. great. I, I love Sublime. <laughs> It's so I've, I've been going through a big kick. I, I got caught in like a YouTube zone a couple weeks ago, and I was just watching Sublime video, like early Sublime videos. Oh god! And it's just like I just feel like I, I look at it and I just like I just want to. I just wanted to do drugs. It makes me want to like it, it does. It, it really makes me, it makes me want to like do drugs and like party and like shave my head and diet and mm-hmm. like just like be, have like really long shorts. Some air walks. <laughs> air really walks. Long. Oh, God. Yeah. Like the signature shoe of like, uh, I'm really not going to do shit with my life is an air walk, right? Like that's kind of like. Yeah, it is. That's the one. That's yeah. when you just are fully like, you're the guy circling the apartment complex with the stroller and the monster energy drink with the air walk. You're like. <laughs> and that's it. This is and it. And that's you. And you're okay with that. <laughs> you're okay with yeah. that. Yeah. Our podcast, our podcast, <laughs> like if it was a shoe, it'd be an air walk. <laughs> 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 Who owns Airwalk? Does does, does, does 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 Tony Hawks does it? Does no, he own Airwalk? No, like Payless owns Airwalk at this point. Like it's like the most yeah. beat. Like fucking yo, Airwalk. You know what? Airwalk might be due for for Airwalk. Let's do a collab. Airwalk might be due for a thing because all the all I that old shit. I bet you they will. They will. Right? Yeah. You know that shit's gonna pop up. Yeah, the Filos came back. Those big fat stupid fucking Filos. <sighs> Everything Filos old must be great. remade again, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, Filos are great. I, I grew up like next to Buffalo on the Canadian side, and Fila's was a really big shoe. 
It was just like, it was Fila's and Carl Kanai. Every you had to have like Carl Kanai and Fila's. I don't know what that, that one is. That was Carl Kanai. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's my era for sure. Carl Kanai. Yeah. Did you guys? Are you aware of Twism? No. Shaq's brand. The no. world is mine. Twism. The fuck is that? Yo, you got. Fuck. No, you're Twizza. ten years older than all of us. So. It's true. Twism, Carl Kanai, Fubu, that whole okay. world of like cross black, colors. Cross colors. I remember going to um, the trade show when I was a kid, and like there was a cross colors booth, and it was like cross colors was like one of the first like black owned, you know, kind mm-hmm. of like uh, it wasn't. It was kind of streetwear, but it was bigger than streetwear. It was like a, it was more contemporary. And I remember being this little kid going to the trade show and being like, "Oh my god, it's cross colors!" And I. I peek in. I peek in the booth at Cross It's just all Asian people. <laughs> I was like, one of my first dreams was shattered. You know, the, the curtain was peeled back, and you're like, oh fuck, oh man, it's not what it looks like. You know. Uh, how old are you? Seventy four. Oh nice. Uh, he doesn't like to. He's like in between forty two, forty seven. Okay. Are you shy about I'm, your age? I'm still in my thirties, man. Give me a fucking break. That is, see, he literally, it's it, its like an incredible thing that he's so weird about his age. Because I'm always, like, I've known him, like, almost, like, what, eight, nine years now? And, it, yeah. and it's still just, like, when I met him, he was in his 40s, you know, for sure. <laughs> so it's just, like, it, it still is just, like, one of those things where I'm always, like, he, and he won't eat. It's so weird. It's like he's got a weird small nose, and, and, and he's weird about his age. Huh. Those are my. That's my only two faults, really. Is that I have a small nose and I'm weird about my age. Yeah. Beyond that, I'm pretty it's much a, a perfect. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Kryptonite is his age. I'm about I'm to 39. turn thirty. Are you thirty nine? I'm thirty nine. It's depressing. Yeah. I'm about to turn thirty. I'm a month away. Oh wow. Yeah. Wow. Okay. I think when I met you, I was probably twenty. No. Really? Wow. Yeah. Fuck. Twenty twenty one. I was. Yeah. No, when you were over at the uh, the juice bar. The juice bar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is fucking the, wild. She used to work at the Punch Bowl. That's how I. That's, that's how I met Gabby. Time originally. goes yeah. by. Yeah, yeah. It sure does. I pull up in the Punch and Bowl. Look, and she'd we're be like in there three generations. Shit. Yeah, we're we are three generations here. Three, three you know, generations. Two tones yeah. in his fifties. Yeah. <laughs> I'm in my thirties. Gabby's in her twenties. It's beautiful. Yeah. 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 And we're it's all really on nice. TikTok. Yeah, we all are. Are you on TikTok? No. No. Fuck. Are you? We wish we were. We I, wish we no, were. No, you don't. It's the worst decision. I, I, are you there? Yeah, I'm there. Okay. Big time there. I can see you running. I some feel TikTok, like TikTok like, just you know. gets people to look. I don't know. TikTok seems like I'm trying to figure it out, and I'm having like like TikTok contacts me, and they're like, "Let's have a meeting." I'm like, "About what?" And oh, they're just really? like, "About TikTok," and you're like. What do I do with TikTok? You gotta I'm do dances. You I'm gotta like, do dances and I'm gonna sounds. have to hire people to make TikTok for me. They're yeah. fucking you know? awful. I'm just like, yeah, they, they anytime I post on there, they come for me. They're like, "You're so fucking old, you old bitch. Get off this fucking no. app." Oh, Are you serious? All the time. <laughs> I, anything I post, I get people like fighting with me. I got lost on a hike the other day and posted it on my TikTok, and all of these kids were like, "You dumb bitch, wasting resources." Because I had to call the fire department and have me fu- rescue Wait, off a fucking what? mountain. And yeah, and I posted on it about it on TikTok, and all these kids were like, "You fucking wasting resources. You should have died up there." I was like, "Jesus, fuck." Yo, bully. You're like, that's what the resources are for. You fucking losers. I know. I know. You fucking I'm losers. Lost. Yo, you have to admire the evolution of bullying yeah. because now when you get bullied, they don't call you just a dumb bitch for getting lost. They're like you're wasting valuable resources and tax money I, like they, they yes. try to justify it by being like you know it's like woke bullying right it like, is woke bullying but then yeah. they're all also against bullying right yeah yeah, yeah yeah i'm like what the fuck is going on and then i'm like fighting with Until these 15 year olds and it's like who who's really the loser Maddie here? just <laughs> 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 he just left that'd be so but, funny. that'd be so dope if you just didn't if you never came no. back no, my door was open. Uh, yeah. You want to go make a boom boom? So wait, how did you get, door, where did you no. get lost? Um, The wisdom tree. Yeah, we hike. Been, uh, Me and Two Tone hike. Where'd you, what no, was your doesn't. path? Do you guys actually hike? No. Oh, okay. I hike. I hike, he does, I he hike does something a lot. Else. I fucking hate hiking. I love it. I love hiking. Do you really? It's not a nice it. thing. It's, it's not, not a fun thing to do. What's the it's wisdom awful. tree? You know? No, it's gorgeous. You can, you can no, literally look outside. Like, look out Two Tone's window right now. If you look out Two Tone's window right now, look, look, look. Looks so good. It looks like hiking. It looks yeah. like hiking. No. If you went like this, you just live do in this. a hike. If you move your head like this, it's like you're hiking. Yeah, no, no, no. You look out the window. Yeah, yeah. It's tall. And it looks the same. 
I need yeah, to. Nice. I need to get so into her. Yeah. I need to know how she got lost in like a have state you, park. Okay, have you gone to the Wisdom Tree? No, where's that? Which hike is that? I don't even know. It's up by Lake Hollywood. What's the Wisdom Tree? Is it an actual tree? It's an actual okay, tree. Lake, Lake Hollywood. There's nowhere to get lost. It's just like is you're surrounded by the city, bullshit, right? Bullshit. Bullshit. Yeah. Bullshit. How do you get bullshit. lost in Lake Hollywood? Okay, so get this shit. So it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a very complicated hike. It's very. Oh. It's a. It's a very tall hike. And we get to yes. the top and this girl's sitting there and we're like, how do we get down? I was with my friend and this girl was like, you just follow this little trail down. And we're like, okay. And there were no signs. And we walked down this little fucking trail and like the trail kept getting smaller and smaller. And I was like, okay, clearly like people hike here because it's a trail. Turned out it was an animal trail. Oh, we somehow a game got- path. Yeah. Very cool. So we took a wrong turn and ended up on the fucking side of this mountain in a bunch of like brush and it was not good. Were you were like no hanging paths. on to the side of a mountain? And that's exactly what happened. We were like clinging onto the side of this mountain and I was like, should oh we just goodness. like kind of like climb down? And my friend started crying and she's like, absolutely not. And I was like, I guess we got to call 911. Why did she, I mean, maybe, maybe I think you did. I think, did squan I, think, yeah. I think you squandered some resources to be honest. So. <laughs> because you could have went back up the game trail, no? Couldn't have. Why? Couldn't have because it was no. like straight down. It was straight down. It was straight down. Cliff two toes. We were on a they fucking. Almost died. There was no they fuck, fucking. Yeah. Died. Why don't you get on TikTok and start bullying me too? And you couldn't climb yeah, back up. Asshole. Typical male. Did they charge Typical you? Male. Did they charge you for the helicopter? No. So we didn't end up having to get in the helicopter. <clears throat> the fireman embarrassingly just climbed up the mountain and carried us down. No. Yeah. <laughs> he put you on his shoulder. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. No. He had to kind of like lift me up, and I was like, "Okay, here we go." And he picked me up, and he goes, "You're real light," and I was yeah. like, "Okay." What the fuck? Yeah. So, thank you. Yeah, like thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, so he, a man came. Yeah, a couple, a couple of a, men. Some men came. Oh yes. God forbid, right? <laughs> some men came and and man and man carried you off the mountain. Man, not a single woman. They had to carry us weak fucking lost women off of. <laughs> yeah, off of a fucking mountain. It was so embarrassing. It was it's so embarrassing watching them just climb up this How mountain. How long was the trip? They were just down? using their legs. Like they their were knees using their, and legs. their ankles, yeah. their feet. They, they were, were just using their legs and carrying you up a mountain. Yeah, yeah, carried us. Yeah, it was, was easy. Was the problem for them. actually that you guys they didn't want to put you guys didn't want to put down your coffee and cigarette? Is that why you couldn't go down the mountain? You're just like, <laughs> you know what, we have to call 911. This is a fucking rap. It's this fun. is not there's no way they have we like can like a balance. vape, they got a fucking Starbucks. Yeah. I did have a water bottle with me and I was like, I have to unfortunately leave this. Oh my god. In this the is wild. insane. It was so fucking stupid. My my pride. Have you are you gonna is is this gonna deter you from hiking? Yeah. Are you gonna get back out? Out there, you gotta last. get back on the hiking horse. Nope, absolutely not. I fucking hated hiking to begin <laughs> with, and then that reconfirmed how much I absolutely fucking hate it. And I'm like, I don't ever have to do this again. Oh, so yeah. That's I. I agree. I went hiking, and I always, I always blew my groin out. My groin's strong. No. I got a strong groin no. muscle and ligaments. And 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 when I got, a, I, I was sitting on a, a log, and when I went to stand up, it, the groin gave out, and and then the it almost collapsed the whole tent. Like I'm like a like a like a skin tent. Yeah. And the, but the str the ligament, the string holding the main brace, uh, in the groin, because the groin is a centrifuge of strength. Yeah. Yeah. And then yeah. that that kind of it got taken away from me. But I had to regain myself. But two tone once again, he yeah. helped, he pushed me up out of the crevice. Let me just, you guys were together when that happened. Yeah. yeah. I, I took him. And let me just clarify what this hike was. It was him walking on dirt for thirty feet. <laughs> <laughs> and he went down an embankment. This is about as high as this table. It's a crevice. And he sat on the log. And then when he stood up, he was like, I can't move. And I was like, you're obviously a specimen. And uh, <clears throat> I'm peak physical shape. Peak physical male peak, shape. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I'm so sorry that happened to you. Well, you know, I think too. Thank you. Thank yeah, you for, I thought like, she was he, saying yeah. when you lifted your shirt up. I thought she was saying, "I'm so sorry that that that, that happened to you." <laughs> she's like, but to both of them. Yeah. She's like, "There's a lot." To and your I, body. I always like if I had like a four by four, I only got two ankles. I need, but it, it, it's still just like two tone was there to help me, and he did help me, and 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 just luckily he was there. You know, like if if I was by myself and we weren't podcasting while hiking, I would have died. Cause yeah. my groin, it, 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 it's something I've never happened. Had it happen before? I've walked. Well, hiking is pretty much walking. So I've walked my whole life, like since I could start. Yeah. So I've walked like all the time, and 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 then that one moment when I sat down on the log, and I've sat down before. So it was just like he a really weird down. thing yeah. in my yeah. head where I had yeah. to realize, I had to realize I've sat before. I've yeah. gotten up from sitting before. Yeah. This time something happened different. That's never happened ever in my life before. Well, this is the thing is oh, that man, usually when yeah. you're sitting and standing, there's a 
you're a goal orientated person and there's a goal like mm-hmm. there's a dish there's a plate there's something that's like oh there's food here mm-hmm. so like you're not spaghetti. thinking about yeah, yeah. and right, this is the first time right. you did a full meditative sit with no food no people just like nothing to help a you sit and I you're caught groin. a frog he did catch a frog after the groin or no, before during before okay before yeah he caught a frog which is impressive he that just is kinda, impressive They're his fast. hand pops out he catches a frog like there's still a little bit of country in him yeah you know? yeah yeah so back to oh. Oceanside, uh, you grew up in the same manner that a lot of us grew up coastally, which is like, you know, in that conflux of. I grew surf- up on a lake. I'm talking Diff- to Gabby. Di- <laughs> <laughs> Different. <laughs> try to get into it. Try to get into it. Trying to get Gabby to talk here. All right. So let's just try to. Gabby, divert. what was your worst? There what was your, your, your worst job you ever had in Oceanside? What was I had the, a the, job the worst, once. <laughs> what was the worst job? You ever had in Oceanside? I didn't work in Oceanside. I left uh, right after I graduated high school. Didn't work in high school. Oh, I yeah. love that. Me too. D- didn't do it. Yeah. Yeah, didn't. The um, Oceanside is like, it, 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 it's the same as the rest of SoCal. Have you been? I've never been to Oceanside. Have you been? I've been, uh, I don't think so. I do, I've driven past the tits a bunch of times. Yeah, okay, the tits. Yeah. What, the when nuclear. you reference the tits, um, it's these what, two, what's the tits? These two giant domes. It's a power plant, yeah. and they're shaped like tits, and they have big, they have like nipples. big nipples coming out of them. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 Nipples and nipples. tits. Nipples, yeah, nipples and tits. tits. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. Ni- so Oceanside, <laughs> <laughs> the one thing that we talk, so you're from Oceanside, uh, no yeah. job, just fucking nipples and a power tits. plant tits. Yeah. That's nice. And what probably, did you go straight to LA from high school? Just straight into the world? I did, yeah, straight into the world. I wanted to go to San Francisco. I wanted to go to art school, but I wasn't smart enough and didn't have, mm. didn't apply to college and you have to do what that medium? to get into college. Yeah, exactly. Got- uh, what yeah. medium? Um, I wanted to paint. What and, kind of paint? Um, uh, I wanted to fucking study painting. I don't know, I paint That's like- so nice. Yeah, yeah, or animation, but I was like, oh, you know what, I'll just go to LA instead. And here we are. are you draw? Her? You draw? Yeah, yeah. yeah. She be painting. That's she so paints. Nice. She, she I, be didn't, I didn't know she could paint, and then all of a sudden she started painting. A lot of a lot of things happen in quarantine. You didn't expect. Uh, yeah. She starts painting. We all kind of. Yeah, she just started busting out these paintings. Like, oh, I didn't know she could do that. That's yeah, cool. Yeah. You know, showed up. Hidden That's talents. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so 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 SF didn't work out, and then and, and you landed in in Los Angeles. Yeah, and then I moved up here because this was fucking easy, and then I got into mm. stand up a couple years ago. Now I do stand up. Stand up, yeah, a comedian. <laughs> that's what that's what it is now, yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. a stand up comedian. This is amazing. Okay, so so during the pandemic, <laughs> you've been stripped of everything. Everything, yeah, yeah. Didn't get and, to do and, it. And, and now the pieces are coming back. And like, what, what what are you seeing? Are you seeing like hope in people's eyes when they when they laugh? No. Yes and no. Uh, n- yes, but no. Also, mm. <laughs> does that make sense? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, you're no. back, right? You're back doing back. shows. Yeah, I just yeah. got back from Austin last oh, you're, night. I oh, was you're, in Austin. she's out there touring. Out there touring, going to Pennsylvania in a couple days. Look at this. Big PA. Big Royersford PA. What's it like I hitting, like going to other places? Because I know that the comedy, I do you think that people in other places are more likely to be laughing yes. than LA? Because LA's got to yes. be tough, right? LA fucking sucks. LA's got to suck. Austin was great. I, <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was so nice to be out of LA. Right. And, but then I get back here and I'm like, I love this city. I don't ever want to leave LA. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. I love Los Angeles. I, it's the best. LA rules. But I think for comedy, I feel like people in other places might be more apt to like want to have fun. Yeah, they want to have fun. They're not as judgmental not here. As judgmental. And also here, it's like, you know, everybody's a fucking star. So Everyone's like, a star. If you're not Dave Chappelle, and we don't fucking care. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, you We're go spoiled. Yeah. yeah. They're like, People okay, well, who like are you bringing People don't like comedy. They like, they, they like celebrities. They like celebrities. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, 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 but yeah. in other places, they're not just, just there to laugh. Up. They're not. They're there to be part of something, you know? Mm. To be. I remember she, I, uh, I remember you used to do a bit about humping things as a kid. Yeah, or, horny right? kid. Horny, horny kid. kid. The yeah, horny yeah. kid bit. The horny kid it's bit. A good bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a, that was from a while ago, a few years ago, right? Yeah, I talked about how. Mm-hmm. Yeah, tell us, tell a joke. I want to hear it. I, I, <laughs> not the joke. Not tell the joke. I want to. I don't want it. <laughs> tell, tell the, the joke. joke. I want to hear no. it. No. Oh my god. Have no, you ever ex- done? Yeah. Have you ever done heavy sets? You ever done that? No. No. What's that? This guy. What? <laughs> Dude, don't. I wasn't even gonna say anything. I, I can, you fuck. It's like a. It's like a fucking tick at this point. I can't stop myself. What? This it, guy. It, there's a. It, this guy does a he does a showcase of uh, comedians. It's uh-huh. called Heavy Sets. You uh-huh. haven't seen this? No, I don't think so. You haven't seen so. this comedian? He's like a fixture. How long in have LA. you been doing? Hold on, hold on. This is a great, perfect thing. Okay. How, how how long have you been doing comedy in Los Angeles? 
Almost six years. Okay, six years. Um, you, do you know heavy? No. <laughs> Ever heard of heavy sets? No. Mm. <laughs> Why? I don't know. He's just like he's a, he's, a, he's a guy. He's like our Beetlejuice. We say his name three times. He pops up. Who the he's, fuck? A, he's what? The? He, he's a comedian. Heavy, heavy juice. But, I don't know, but weird. I think he sells jewelry now. He just mostly sells like uh, jewelry. It's okay. We don't okay. have. To, we've already talked too much. I just. You, you <laughs> we'll just edit this enough. out. We'll edit that this was out. enough. Yeah, that, that was, was enough. enough. That was great. Our listeners are gonna love that. Yeah, by okay. the way, Gabby. Okay, yeah. Our got listeners it. are gonna love that. Um, <laughs> so Gabby had the horny. Getting into comedy. I'm watching Hacks. Oh, I, I my friend the, is in it. My friend Hannah Einbinder. I, she's the star. She is a. I love that show. Yeah, it's great. I really, it's a great show. I really, and I and I just watched an incredible funny thing. So um I love the part where where um she's on stage and she she tells there's like this asshole man who's at the comedy club. He's like one of the me, uh, fucking, you know, douchebag Italian guy fucking uh comedians and he like says something about her tits. And she just goes, "Okay, you know, like she's going back and doing like a small show and and um, whatever they're having back and forth, and in the and then she gets to a point. She's like, "How about this?" And he, he makes a joke about like sixty nine her or some shit. And she's like, "I'll give you one point six nine million dollars to never step foot in a fucking comedy store." And like big dogs him, and he ends up taking it. But that the guy, the asshole guy, um, isn't funny. Uh, and, and, and it's a perfect example of like, I don't know, like, it, it's like that guy gets all the laughs in the room because he says something about a woman's breasts. Yeah. And, and then this woman who's been in comedy for fucking, you know, 40 years and, and can have all the respect in the world and all the money in the world and still go in there and some loser, limp dick fuck still can get an easy laugh by making some simple fucking joke about boobs. Yeah, there's a lot know? of that. A lot of limp dick fucks that get a lot of laughs for no reason. Yeah, a lot of idiots mm. make jokes about boobs. A lot of, that's lo a long, <laughs> long road around. But that to show's the, amazing. Yeah, I it's think. a great show, yeah. But I'm just thinking it's, it's difficult. It's a difficult thing. <laughs> what? What being a being a man or being a woman in comedy? <laughs> it's difficult being a man in comedy. <laughs> I know my heart goes out to the men in comedy. It's so hard for them. Yeah, it's just fuck. You know, I look at them and I'm like, it must be so hard. Um, she's old. She's got Gabby's got fifties values. Like she's just very much like men. Like she wants to make life easier for men. In I general. do. Yeah, I do. She's like, what do you guys need? Like, I understand you want to. Can I be the butt of your jokes? Is there anything I can do for you? Is there anything you can do? Would yeah. you like a Manhattan? Yeah. You yeah. Know, I make great cocktails. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Please, if you need to beat the shit on me, I, it's fine. I will yeah. be your punching bag. It's it's okay. I know you had a hard day. Yeah. I have two eyes to black. <laughs> you know, you got two shots. So you, yeah, take come them. on, come on, let's go. Yeah. yeah. Anything, That's, anything for the men. For the men. So it's for been an easy road. So what I'm saying, it's been an easy road. Yeah. Yeah. The weird thing, because I was just in Austin and like, there's not a lot of women in the scene out there. So it's, I, right. you can get a lot more stage time. All the men, everybody moved out there. Yeah. yeah. Everyone's in, in Texas. Which right? is a fucking, ugh. Right. Well, there's these waves where people move to cities and then yeah. it's like one linchpin person moves somewhere and I wouldn't know what his name is, but he some guy moves out there that does a lot of stuff in podcasts and comedy and all of a sudden there's just like a wave of people. They're like, well, yeah, let's, like, let's go. I guess. Well, that looks like Yo, freedom. Yo, Logan? It, whoa, Logan, I think is, it rhymes with that. Whoa. Right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> people, people smell freedom, right? It's like we're all just like animals and we, we get a whiff of freedom somewhere else and we go, like, let's follow the freedom. Yeah, no, you know, the freedom out there is hot. It's yeah. hot freedom. Yeah, I've it's never been hot. to Texas. What do, you, what, do you, what do you suggest? You've I do? never been to Texas. I've never been to Texas. Do you like it? Have you been? I like, I, I've been a bunch of times. Like I've been going there for a couple of years, but the, uh, I'm friends with a bunch of chefs and do like a lot of chef events down there. Oh, okay. And uh, I've been to Austin, I don't know, five, six times in Houston, yeah. Dallas a couple times. Hey. Uh, never been to San Antonio though, but I, I love Texas, but it's a wild, like it's like Austin's yeah. like pretty, like that was the first place I went. That was the first place I, I traveled to during the pandemic where I flew and like went to a place from Canada. Oh, okay. And, and it was right after like Texas was like, you know, no more masks, whatever. Like yeah. let's fucking rock. It's fucking wild there, like, out there. 
it is pretty wild, but I showed up and I was like, everyone's still wearing masks and you have to wear masks and it's still just like, you have to wear them in and out. And I'm like, oh, it's the same here as everywhere. It's just, you know, people saying that there's no masks, but. There was not a know. single mask when I was out there. Isn't Canada really bad right now with uh, with quarantining and masks? They just, li- July 4th, they're gonna, oh, excuse me, I had a shawarma. <laughs> the, the, we, um, after July 4th, if you're double, if you're, if you're double vaxxed, or fully vaxxed, whatever, and you got your O1 visa, like for work. So you can go if you're a, like me, I have my O1, so I can work. Um, you know, if we were doing this like next month, I'd be there in person because I'd be working. Um, but they'll, they'll lift the quarantine after July 4th. But right now, it's it's like, I don't know, everything's opening back up slowly. So what do you guys think about this no mask thing? Uh, you know, it's like, we're, <laughs> Jesus fucking right, Christ. Nice. So listen, I'm going yeah. I'm going to the store to get to, to go buy something. I have a mask in my pocket, and I'm like, you know, and I, and I don't know if I should wear a mask anymore because half the people know they wear a mask, you know? And the other day, I went to the sauna, right? Mm. I go to the sauna. I go to the Schwitz. I go to the City Spa Russian sauna where I took you once before. Where's that? That sounds nice. It's in mid Midtown. Okay. Um, it's the best. And, and uh, I went there for the first time in in since quarantine, and uh, I'm in there, and they jack the price up, and they say you have to wear a mask inside, but nobody's wearing a mask inside, which is fine. Now I'm getting to the point of this is that when I go to the sauna, uh, no one, okay, that's cool. Um, <laughs> when I go to the when I go to the, I have no idea what just happened. Uh, when I go to the sauna, um, there's no one. No one's there. It's pretty empty. It's only Russian people. It is a Russian a Russian bathhouse, but it used to be very mixed. It's just Russians. And I'm in this, I'm in this really hot room that, you know, that big pizza oven. A sauna. Yeah, I'm yeah. in a really hot, hot room. There's a couple of different By rooms. Yourself. A hot room. Yeah, no, I'm in there and there's another Russian man and this older Russian guy comes in and just like, and you start kissing? No, I didn't kiss him. And he comes uh, in and he starts talking to this other Russian guy in a loud tone and he starts yelling. And, oh, bah, 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 bah. and I'm just sitting there. And I'm like, at you or at the other guy? No, at the other guy. So like I'm sitting here and they're just yelling. <laughs> the guy walks out. And you're all naked. We're not naked. We're actually, because it's co-ed that day. So we're wearing bathing suits. Uh, so, okay. um, mm-hmm. And he comes back in. He walks out <laughs> yelling. And he comes back in yelling louder. And gets in front of the guy and starts yelling. And it's just like, <laughs> I'm in the sauna. I'm just kind of like, what? <laughs> Like I, I, it's two men yelling at each other in a sauna, and I can't tell if this is conversational yelling or just like they're just being Russian, or if they're yelling because like they're like, "Who's this motherfucker in our sauna?" Because I, you know, because I'm narcissistic, so I started thinking. Do you about think me. everything's about you? Everything's yeah, about right. me, yeah, right? Yeah. Somehow. Mm, yeah. And so, I would have thought the same. You know, you know, you're like, well, "What is it?" And then, and then I'm like, "Maybe they're mad because like I'm one of the few non-Russians." There's like two yeah. people there who aren't Russian. Who let this non-Russian guy into right. the sauna? Right. Right. Anyway, mm-hmm. so they're going off. So yeah. then I'm having that experience. I'm like, I really want to say to them, what the fuck are you guys talking about? And also there's a part of me who wants to go, <laughs> wants to say like to the big older Russian guy, you got a fucking problem? Like what's going on? Like what the fuck are you doing? Is like, he looking at you at all? He's, when he does you're look at me, he's up. just like, he glares. And I'm like, is he glaring at me because he's got a problem? Or is he glaring at me because he's angry at this other guy? And I don't even know if they're fucking angry. They're just yelling. Yeah, it so is anyways, Russian too. Russian's a hard. Russian's movie. harsh. I go outside. One of the only other people in there I'm talking to this guy I know there who's a regular, this guy, Greg, and he, he waves to someone. And I'm like, I'm like, who is that? He goes, oh, it's Polly. I'm like, Polly, it's Polly Shore. So Polly Shore is in the sauna. And, I, and I'm just like, I have to get an eyeball full of Polly. You know, he's a fucking, he's, he's do the you, weasel. Do you have to get a fucking eyeball full of Polly? I got to see the weasel. <laughs> I got to see how the weasel's looking. And he's in there. And, okay. the, and the weasel's just like, Polly Shore is, I'm just observing him talking to like one of the owners of the sauna. Yeah. And he's completely like he's never gonna watch this, and you know it doesn't matter. He's completely autistic. He he's just like yeah. he's like not even a, it's not even a bit. He's just kind of like he that's not even a bit. Like that's who he is. Yeah. He's just talking to the guy. He's like he's like yeah, and he goes he goes yeah um yeah I got these jokes. He tells the guy he's like I'm gonna go on the roof. You want to hear some jokes? I wrote? No, we didn't. Yeah, to the guy that owns the spa, and the guy goes yeah I'll be there in ten minutes. He goes well, you don't have to go. I don't need to read them to you. It doesn't really matter. And I'm just like Why watching this. Exchange and he's got this binder. <laughs> it was so weird. Excuse me. What? Wait. He. he <laughs> and then I. And then he has course, a joke binder. And he was gonna go in test the his jokes spa? out in a sauna. <laughs> 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 I'm so glad I'm not a I comedian. I fucking hate comedians. That was uh, God. I fuck. They're such. They're, that's so insane. Well, listen. I go up and I meander up on the roof just to check things out. It's just him. Like a few few minutes later, I go up there and just yeah. you know I want to. I'm I'm just you like want to see if he's working his bits. I want to see how his bits are doing. And yeah. I go up there and it's him and the and the guy, one of the owners of the sauna, a younger guy. It's like the son of the owner, and um, 
and I just hear him running. I'm just like, I'm just pacing around this, looking for a spot of sun to get some sun, you know, and, and just keeping an ear cocked. Yeah, yeah. And he's just talking oh, yeah. about like his, he's doing this whole bit about, he's running this bit past this guy about like his, his Asian friend who he took to an orgy and he got passed around by a stockbroker and fucked up the ass. It's like this whole crazy bit. And I'm just like, wow, this is insane. And, you know, and, uh, um, was it funny? I mean, I, I imagined him saying it to a group full of people who had a few drinks on a Friday night, and I'm sure it was funny. Okay. But I don't. I also find most comedy unfunny because it's like most comedy I is very too. much like, hey, my 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 friend got his asshole tore right open. You're like, <laughs> <laughs> what's like, what's not funny about yeah, that? You know. Anyways, <laughs> so that's well, that's my Hollywood story for Maddie. You keep coming back. It works. Uh, it works. If you no, no, it was good. Yeah, so that was my. I try. I was trying so to get us out of the weeds with your, with your fucking just with, like with the ma- quarantine breakdown. <laughs> I wanted to fucking kill myself. <laughs> He's like, I you know, Canada's rules are regular, that. huh? See, you you helped that situation so well because I was listening, being like, I'm captivated. This is a, see yeah. that that yeah, that's that is, the makings of a great podcast. That's a great. Paul podcast. Shore, yeah. Russian bathhouse yeah. yeah. binder. Do you want to watch me tell jokes on the roof of the yeah. Russian bathhouse? Yeah, you're just eavesdropping, eavesdropping. and yeah. follow them up, yeah. which is even better. <laughs> it like, is. You're just so like good. being like. Yeah, I'll check that out. And he's like, "We're not talking to you," but you're like, oh, "I'll come." Yeah. <laughs> did I'm he have like, the binder up there too? I'm pretty sure he had the. Did bi- he have a the- stool? Did he bring like yeah, a chair? Did he have a little no, they, they had, no, no, no. There's two chairs water. to get sun in. They're laying down. I didn't want to be obvious, right? But he had this huge binder, and I'm like, "Why does he have a binder? Is he reading a screenplay? Like, is it?" And it, I was like, "Is it? Is it also? Is it bound in plastic so it doesn't get warped?" Right. By the That's, sauna? That was my next. That's what my, And then, okay. I, then in my mind, I'm the like, "The cardboard could get moist." It yeah. Could. And, then, and in my mind, I'm like, "Does he? Is he at a level where he still has an assistant?" And goes, he goes, "Get this uh, uh, plastic. Uh, what do you call it when you put laminated? In? Get this laminated. Yeah. Thank you. Got it. Get this laminated. Do a tang, Jody. Was get it this a laminated. Tang? Laminated. Don't don't derail us too much, Maddie. Jesus fucking Christ. Do a tang is too much. No one. Yes. Yes. You don't understand the concept of like, Maddie. You gotta. We've been doing this for a year, and yeah. we still can't have a fucking conversation. Yeah. So if I'm telling a story about something getting laminated, and I'm like, he got it laminated. He goes, the process is called zip printing. And you're like, what are you talking about? We're talking about Paulie Shore laminating his notes via his assistant he won't he's on another maddie does another show where maddie does a show where it's like he in his mind he's just going where can i get in and talk about myself and not not contribute to the conversation but just do a maddie thing you do you think with a sock in the whole time do you think that we all have that though i feel like do you ever do you ever like listen to conversations waiting for your in I have a really hard time, right? Well, I have a really hard time just listening to people and enjoying it because I'm always looking for like, okay, when can I fucking jump in with my But is thing? it because you think you're going to forget your part or because yes. you have to say your part? Because I feel like I'm going to forget it. Okay, I do that all the time. I always think I'm going to forget what I'm going to say. And yeah. But that's the like, deep narcissism. That's like do you, you think? tricking yourself to oh, yeah. think that you might forget it where you just want to, exactly like this moment where I'm talking over both of you <laughs> is, is, just, is a perfect opportunity for me to not even explain the situation. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> what are your thoughts? Uh, yeah, the, what are your thoughts? I, um, Do, okay, does that mean we're all narcissists? <laughs> yeah, 100%. We're all narcissists. I mean, 100%. Yeah. Yeah, to, varying levels of narcissism. Varying levels, some right. Of it, some, of it, some of it's treated, some of it's untreated, some of it is just wildly just like off the rails. I ask my therapist all the My time therapist. she thinks I'm a narcissist. She says no. Really? Yeah. Wow. She says no. My therapist doesn't think I'm a narcissist either. Did you ask oh, her? Oh my god! Did get dude? Yeah, like, fire. <laughs> yeah. He also has a doctor that says that he's completely healthy, and he has a and he has a therapist. I have, and, no, I have the best fucking cardiologist in the country, and she Maddie. fired me because she's like, "Your heart's so good that I don't need to be." I'm the best cardiologist in the country, and I you. Uh, you she fired I can't you. Work with you because you, you hired you hired heart, your cardiologist. It's not. Listen, you're. It, 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 I don't have high cholesterol. I am boggled by the fact that you're fucking shrink. You do look strong. Your shrink told you that you're not a narcissist. Strong. That's impossible, Maddie. Doctor Rose, we would we could. Doctor Rose on. is a fucking quack. Let me tell you. You know, no, there's only one no. doc. There's only one fucking doctor. There's only one ther- one psychologist, one therapist. There's one Dr. shrink. Phil. No, Doctor fucking Nipples. You know that. There's only Dr. one. Sh- Nipples. Who's Doctor? Who, who's Doctor Nipples? <laughs> Doctor Nipples. Doctor Nipples pierced my nipples. I had a surprise uh, nipple piercing segment on one of our shows. Oh wow! Because he always wanted to get his nipples pierced. 
and this guy came and in the process of us exhuming uh all of our bullshit with the guests, your favorite comedian heavy was there too heavy was there okay, and, heavy uh, was there. and he he goes he goes he started psychoanalyzing heavy and he goes i'm actually a, fa- a therapist so oh for him, real for yeah, actually. he's actually a therapist who does piercing while he's piercing your nipples welcome to la yeah dr nipples do you still so. have your nipples pierced no, no, we took it out. I didn't like the no. They fucked up. So my dream, I've always, I always there's this amazing. I, I I got fixated. There's this picture that I found online. It's like this, like in the like late seventies in San Francisco, and there's this like big bear holding his little boyfriend, and he's got these big fucking hoops, and it's yeah, like a big, he's got okay. a big beard, you know big beard, bald, know but like yeah. long hair. Yeah. He's got these big fucking Rough hoops, trade. and he and he has this like really cool like sun tattooed on his tummy. Yeah, and I was just like always obsessed with this photo, and I was like, that guy looks really cool with yeah. fucking nipple rings. And I was always like, I want big like nipple rings. You wanted the the round ones. And I said I want, to like, Jason, yeah. I said Jason, he wants rings. And, and Jason my goes, dream up. No, he wants bars. I go, No, he doesn't. The man wants rings. And then I gave up because I have twenty other things going on. I can't fucking hyper focus on Maddie's nipples more than I already am. <laughs> so you got the bars, not the rings. Not the bars. So no, they got this little ring that they put in and because it was like, it was like they did the piercing and then it just stuck straight out because it was so Ugh. small. And so just, all of a sudden I have like a hand, it was like a handle on the bre- on the breast nipple and 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 it, and it and it just was like it was just no good and i was just like take it out cuz it's like it's not it's my vision these guys ruined my, and i went through the pain oh. and then i didn't get the reward yeah. and so then like what am i left with nothing he took yeah. it like a chance, like, just though. a hole in my nipple yeah just a fucking crushed nipple I mean, yeah. wow yeah. did you have any unfortunate piercings as, as a youth no. did you do any like no i never did the stuff i never got my nipples or my butthole or like my <laughs> Clitter or anything pierced. No. The butthole piercing is is elusive. The taint. <laughs> the butt. Yeah, the taint. Who <laughs> just pierces? The, the one. The one. Um, is there uh, the Luna Chicks? You know the band the Luna Chicks by any chance? No. There's like a punk rock. It's like a all f- female woman fucking punk rock thing. And I swear to God, for some reason, I think there was like on like a BME like a body mod site, and th- she did like an interview, and I think she had her taint pierced. That's Jesus Christ. Everything. Yeah, there, then then there are guys that get their little Prince Alberts. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Which is, every, everything doesn't have to. Have you come across one of those in the wild? Never. Prince Albert? Never. There's a, everything no. doesn't have to. I, I, wouldn't, I, I wouldn't had one fuck right anybody. through his head. No. I had a guy, he had a he had a barbell that just went through his whole head. Oh, through like geez. the middle of it. Why? Wait, just what? Like, so it went through like, oh, um, man. that's the head. Like, th- wait, through his <laughs> penis the, hole? No, just no, no, through no, the top. Like, oh, through the top of the penis. Oh, yeah. What's, what's, so his, what's like, his fucking problem? Why? Oh, what that? is his fucking problem? <laughs> is he dead? That guy's dead. No, he's doing great. He's got. A big, is he still have the camera. piercing? Yeah. Well, I don't know. It was in high school. It was like you uh-huh. know, we were like fucking punk. You know, Touching yeah, dicks. shoving shit in our fucking shit. You guys remember that website, the Pain Olympics? No. No. You don't remember that? No. You didn't have it was the, like E Bombs World. It was no. E Bombs World. I do remember E Bombs World. This was like the. It was, uh, it's like everybody in high school would show it to you of, of like guys like crushing their balls and oh, like no. cutting their penises off. And no, no, no. No, you <laughs> no. didn't see I that? Can't. I love a good that, <laughs> cock splitting. A good cock splitting. No, that I was can't. my youth. That yeah. was my fucking youth. Yes, I remember you guys. there was a, the Ocean body. side? You're yeah. just like on an iPad sitting by the Big beach? Time. Just like, check this out. Big fucking time. Out. Yeah. No, we didn't have iPads <laughs> then though. It was like the family desktop computer. And your friend would yes. be like, Let's I hear all this. Watch. I hear this a lot about from younger people about the family computer. The where, family computer. So the whole like, imagine like you know, mm-hmm. at least when we were children, uh, our our disgusting habits were 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 you know kept separate. But the whole family's funneling into one portal. Yeah. To see their filth. Yeah. You know, and like the whole family's on there. And like, no, you don't know how to erase your history. No, I found my dad's nudes on the family computer. Oh, no. And he found my fucking nudes on the family no. computer. Yeah. And we had like everyone a, had just folders on the desktop. It, You're like, it, yeah. Don't check this out. <laughs> yeah. Basically, we, you traded nudes with your we, dad. We traded nudes, and then we had like a standoff at the dinner table, and my mom was like, "What the fuck is going on?" And we were like yelling at each other about our nudes. Holy shit! And, and you were yelling at each other about the quality of the news. And then, you weren't even we like, were. You're he, like, he didn't even have a boner, which I was like, "Come like, on!" 
You can't. <laughs> you're like, you're, Dad, you can't. You, you can't be sending flaccid dick you pics around. You can't be sending fucking flaccid ones. <laughs> Why is a married guy taking news? It's like, take a picture of your ear. So where's a, where's you that doing? going? Like, who cares? He had girlfriends. He, he had, had girlfriends on the side? Oh, he had he had side chicks up and down. Oh, and mom didn't, was mom aware? Mom, mom was aware and was just like, I don't fucking care. Because he didn't work. So she would always be like, I don't care if he's fucking people. I'm the one who makes money. <laughs> we all... Hold on. Let me just look at this. Let me yeah. look at his side of the deal here. Yeah, please. You don't have a job, so you get to fuck whoever you want, which is like, he kind of crushed. He kind of really won that. He kind of did crush. <laughs> she, I like the math here. It's like, I have, I bring in all the money, so you should fuck all the extra people. So that there we go. I remember one time a woman that he was sleeping with called our house on, on the house phone and my mom picked up mm. and she was like, you know, John, I'm sleeping with John. And my mom was like, I don't fucking care. Take him. He doesn't work. Amazing. And that was yeah. it's the Damn. ultimate fuck you. You're like, yeah, cool. Yeah, cool. Go, go get him. Was she, it good? Yeah. Was it dusty as fuck? Did he That's make so... you come? Shut up. Get out of here. That's Shut so up. And that John's was the loser. vibe. Hey, John. Your mom just takes the phone, puts it down. She's like, John, do you make her come, you loser? No? Cool. <laughs> that See was the ya. conversation. John, it's your side piece. Yeah, come get her here, Sandy. She does a bit on uh, on Instagram loser. about about her dad's uh, what is it? His, his Facebook, Facebook post. Yeah, his Facebook. <laughs> it's post. just like the horniest dad post. It's all mm, like to get a piece of that can <laughs> of tomatoes. <laughs> it's always women with big tits, and yeah. he's like, "Yeah, I'll fucking ride that one till the sun comes up." <laughs> yeah, there's nothing worse than seeing your parents' uh, sexuality. It's up, so up bad. It's so bad. It's yeah. the worst. I it's, hate it. My parents are sexy people, and it's the worst. Right, they're into sex. Yeah, are they? Are they still together, dude? Since they were sixteen. Joni? Shut the fuck up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Joni works. Yeah, Joni's... but then my dad just turned sixty. Well, not just. My mom turned sixty-three. Sixty-nine. She turns like sixty-three in May. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Or May just passed. Yeah, she turned like sixty-three in May. But they've been together for fucking since they were like sixteen. Because they had my sister when. She was like 16 or 17. That's fucking so. wild. Do you Imagine. think that they've only slept with each other? No. There's you, no way. You don't, okay. I hope I no, hope so. No. Your dad's Do you think? Your dad was into I don't computers. know. Maybe Joni, maybe He's, Steve. No, I don't know. I think Steve's had a few wild nights out. You know, somewhere in the middle of that whole Steve Savage, his nick's na- his his internet name was Steve Savage. Okay, yeah, you don't Steve get that Savage. for nothing. Yeah. You he used to have he used to have uh he used to run a joke forum back in the day of forums. <laughs> what the fuck is a joke a joke forum? Like truly tasteless jokes. It was just like a thing. Like he used to be a forum guy. He used to have like all these different forums about like, you know, motorcycles or cars or he used to like moderate like forums like Literally in the nineties. Yeah. Okay. And um, let me see if I can know, f- let me see if I can angle away it through this forum to get you canceled. Let me think. <laughs> okay. Were there any jokes? Why that- are you always trying to get me canceled? Because you I want because like, I want this trying? era. I just want the era of like of of celestial wokeness to end, so we can just all be real. That's what I want. I want there. Oh, God, I want I there to be that. a nuclear war yeah. on everything, and we can just all go back to like. Just this is tell this is talking about how we really feel. Yeah, this well, is really sad. Wouldn't it. that be good? You know what I mean? But you know, and Maddie wants it Ma- inside his mind is a mushroom cloud. He can't. He's got too much at stake. He's got. A, he's he got, got a whole thing. Stake. So in that time where your Look dad, at what I have. Yeah, <laughs> he's, Look at what I have. Yeah. When your dad had that forum, do you think anyone ever said anything sexist, racist, homophobic? Was there any 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 jokes made at the expense of Chinese people? Right. Um, right. Anything? No. It was just all totally clear, like jokes about bears. Knock knock. Knock knock. knock. There's a bear poo poo pee pee yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah 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 it's just fun because when you say bikers and joke forum then I, I assume the jokes are totally chill just like hey there's a slide <laughs> jamie has a slide let's slide on over <laughs> i'm gonna take a nap i don't know my dad is I edgier agree. my dad is your dad's edgy. he works blue he's he's towing the line of racism on that facebook and i'm like yeah. okay you gotta dial it you gotta bring it back <laughs> Listen, you, you, you want to cancel someone. You can't not. There's, there's John, no way you're John, not. Just we'll by the John. just Thank by John. the era, you can't not be racist from like you, people weren't even aware of things. Yeah, like, he doesn't things get that, it. There's he things that it. I've been made aware of that I was like, oh, yeah. Yeah. And I've always thought of myself as being like the most like even just like non fucking racist homophobic person. Yeah. I well not within reason because everyone is racist secretly. You all we all think think everyone is racist. Right. Let's just be honest. Just in our own rooms. Yes, you're you all racist. Start, you're the disease. And you're the cure. You're mm-hmm. the disease. Mm-hmm. 
you, and, 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 and if you haven't done the work to cure that disease, yes. then you still, even if you think you don't got it, you got it. Right. But learning. once you're aware of the disease, then you can start the. And then you don't do anything about it, then you just don't carry on. Right, yeah. right, right, right. Or I don't know. Maybe you try to help yourself a little bit. The yeah. pendulum's going to swing and. You know, it's gonna it's gonna swing back, and we're gonna we're gonna dip back into the seventies. It's so true, though. It <laughs> At is. some point, right? Yeah, we're going <laughs> all the way this way right now. <laughs> yeah, it's just gonna go. I mean, there was a time when, like, literally, you not too long ago, I think maybe even into the eighties, where like you would just like your secretary would walk by and you just crack her on the ass. Oh like, yeah, give me a coffee, sugar, and yeah. she'd be like, ha, ha. like Ooh. that's insane. You do that. <laughs> Two years ago, that shit like you could do that. People are still doing that now. I mean, yeah, maybe in Japan, but I don't know about here. No, not Japan. Japan's no, like Japan's the locals. They're just no, like, I'm going to give you 500 woke. bucks. No, and you give me Japan is not. Japan may be very sophisticated, but they're not woke by any means. You really? Yeah, dude, they're never going to be. They're woke. like on a huge like feminist fucking they are? Up, upswing right now. Yeah. Oh, maybe they just had their moment. But yeah. I've been to Japan and been like, this is crazy no way really i've never yeah. been to japan so i can't yeah huh um yeah like my my rep our rep out there would be like he had a woman in the office that would just like we'd all go out to eat and do all these things she'd just be there and then when we'd eat she'd like serve us all the food and cook it for us and put it in our plates. my girl like, this, is, this is trippy like well you know like yeah taking care taking care of the taking boys care of business. yeah this yes. is what gabby's all about she's yes. like listen it's you got the boys make your man boys. happy man happy plan is gabby's motto God, i remember when i was in high school and i was like mm. hanging out with all these skater guys and they would come back to my house and they'd all be like can we have some food and i would just like be in my kitchen <laughs> making them like quesadillas They're like, I, you're a genius yeah i was like 15 though so i was like this is the right thing to do for these hungry boys oh <laughs> Oh my god. Uh, quesadillas. Then you man. take the quesadilla and wipe your butt and be like, here you go, and, losers. And then fucking fart into it, yeah. Yeah. That's what I would that's what I would fucking that's what do. I would do. I would do that so now. Sad. I would She'd do that. She'd do now. that now, yeah. Well, mm-hmm. Yeah. So what um we really covered a lot of bases. Um what else, what are you thinking, Maddie? What are you pointing at? I, I, I want I want I want Gabby to talk about her life. Let's get into it. Yeah, let's, let's get re- into it. That was a preamble. Yeah. That was a pre-interview. Let's really get into Gabby. Year yeah, we one. can we can get into it. Year one. Year one, Gabby. Yeah, how much time we got to talk about it? Okay, year Hours. one. What do you, Maddie, what do you want to hear? <laughs> year one. We, year, year one. Year one. When did, when did the purity be taken from you? The purity, um, I would say, like, if we're actually talking about when I lost my virginity, I was 13. So I would say we started no, there. Before, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that was the first but, time that was the first time the like anything like unpure that was the very first aspect? No, I would say the purity, the taking of the purity probably started much younger. I think you know there's like family mm. st- you you grow up in like a chaotic household and you start seeing things kind of fall apart around you and then you're like, "Oh, my world mm. is my world isn't so pure." So I would say probably yeah. around probably around 5 this is when I was like, "Oh, it's not such a not such a nice world. Yeah. Yeah, there we there go. go. I'm gonna go gonna go dark. We just got Let's dark. Go full dark sure to- <laughs> oh, we can. Um yeah, that yeah, that's that's uh, I would say when I started realizing. I mean Maddie really <laughs> <laughs> Maddie goes, when was your purity when was taken your- from you? It's like <laughs> Jesus Christ, Maddie. <laughs> yeah, right. It's fine. When was your soul snatched yeah. out? Well, everyone's sh- broken. It's not like what do you mean? It, like, everyone every is broken. Listen to that. Everyone's broken. Everyone's I think there's, broken. There's also a thing though. I feel like I like in Southern California, especially like these weird beach cities where everybody started fucking really young. Like other parts mm. of did did you feel like where you're from? People were fucking really young. I lost my virginity to my wife, um, and At we've been together ever since. And um, wait, are you serious? So lo- yeah. Yeah. He lost virginity to his wife. Can I have imagine? three children. I have three no. children. I, you're really not uh, lying. No, Trisha Spencer. Love you. <sighs> wow. Mm. Wait, how old were you? Mm, it was like three before Seven. prom. Oh, so, so you guys have like, been together uh, for a long time. He dedicated himself to one 20, sandwich for the rest of his life. He's like, I'm going to have grilled cheese. 21 years. I'm not even going to know what a hoagie tastes like. I'm just going to have grilled <laughs> yeah, cheese forever. Forever. And you know what's great? It's it great. Let me tell you a secret. My yeah. sandwich, fresh made every day, baby. I'm still happy. <laughs> you still plow. I love that. Still we plow. had a great time last weekend. Last weekend, we 69. Nice. 
Did you 69? That should be illegal. She held him up. Stand up 69. Yo. I held. I was on top. I was on top. Oh. Like a heavyweighted oh. blanket. <laughs> Just a heavyweighted blanket. <laughs> oh, God. Every time they fuck, he has a child, too, which is crazy. That's wild. So you've had sex three times. Yeah. In the last and, five years. And 69 a bunch. They dock. Yeah. Well, I got to get a vasectomy. Trish is like, no more until you get a vasectomy. So I'm going to vasectomy and... I don't know, soon. I had to cancel it once already for other work things. But, okay. Um, okay. Does I want to get a vasectomy. Does it make you nervous doing that kind of uh, operation? You can you reverse care? it. No. Right? Yeah, no. I'm, well, no, I don't give I don't. I'm, I don't want any more. Uh, three. I have three healthy, fucking amazing, adorable children. That's a lot. I don't give a fuck. Three is, have, his kids are, are wildly cute. It's fucked up. Are they little? Just like. Yeah, they're all five. Five uh, Max five. Rizzo is two and a bit, and then they're Ozzy's like they're... eight months. <laughs> Listen, oh, that's cute. Those are cute names too. Rizzo, Ozzy, uh, Max. Riz Rizzo, Louise, Rizzo, Louise, mm -hmm. and Ozzy, Dorothea. The thing about the cute. vasectomy is like the only situation in which it gets reversed is if Maddie. This is this is the only way. Okay. I get really rich. That exactly. Yeah. It gets really really rich, and all of a sudden like. There's like, they go, sir, you've reached a new tax bracket. So here's your new selection of pussy. And they just go, they just open the doors to like right. pussy Valhalla. And yeah. he goes, well, I didn't know I had access to this. Right. And he, and and he like, chucks his yours. family. Yeah. yeah he chucks the family because like, he's like, I never thought I could have sex with this like Brazilian 19 year old. Yeah. You get rich enough to, you can afford divorce. Yeah. yeah. So he then could. he goes, well, let me chuck this stuff. Because mm -hmm. there's a kid like, I don't want this. I, don't, I want something new and exciting. And then she goes, Papa, you need to get, you, I need to have your baby. Not because mm -hmm. she loves him, but because she needs to put her stamp down on him. As this a, is the 19 year old. Yeah, Brazilian, this is the 19 year old Brazilian. And she's like, you have yeah. to get it reversed. Yeah. You got to get your vasectomy reversed. See, and he's like, would you do it? Nothing to me. I think you'd do it. Yeah, he does. He's on he's, a super yacht. No, he doesn't care. No, I, 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 I think I'm like, I'm just, no. no. I don't want any more kids. Yeah, but she'll. But, but she takes maybe. care. It's her. She's. Yeah. You don't have to. Okay, I she know. can have it. And yeah. Then, and then I would just like not care because once like, right. the second wife, I feel like you you care even less than yeah. your first wife. I feel absolutely. Or something like that. Yeah, yeah. If you're like one of those kind of guys, I'm certainly not. <laughs> no. <laughs> and, and, and 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 you don't even care anymore. So then you're just having kids, and then you'll have like five kids with five different wives. Mm -hmm. and once you pop, the, it's like you know. You, once you do one. Um, you know, one is too many, a thousand is not enough, you know, with, with the second wives. And yeah, it's right. It's, rack, it's rack crazy. It's very Genghis Khan, yeah. <laughs> it's crazy yeah. that, listen, <laughs> there's dudes out there who are out there like prop, like there's motherfuckers out there who are just like nine kids, like on the, just like, oh. just like, uh, uh, yeah. just run it. And like yeah. I'm terrified of having one. I'm like, what if I don't? What if I need? I, I want to still want to go do my. I want to live my life. Like I'm not. You know, what about the money? Like they're just like, nah, just fucking, fucking just slam, just go. knock everybody up, just yeah. have them fucking storm the earth. Yeah, which might be the move because fuck it, right? I well, don't fuck it. I just think it's like, yeah, I don't know. That's the difference between wanna, men I, and women. Yeah, yeah. You guys can just go fucking nut it up all over, and we got just dropping nuts. You, yeah, yeah, you can. You guys you got, can populate. It's, it's, it's yeah. yeah. It's 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 a. Uh, you know, I'm just happy. That she's happy. Good. Do you guys ever Good. think about just like becoming truly nihilistic? You ever think about that? You ever just think about just fully dedicating yourself to nihilism? You know what I mean? Yeah. Just like going right off the yeah. top and like not giving a fuck. Well, you can't do it because you're too much of a capitalist, right? Yeah. Okay. So you, I don't think nihilism and capitalism goes hand in hand, right? It, it would be pretty freeing in a way, wouldn't it? Just to it? be like, <laughs> like I don't care about no, nothing. Nothing. Right. Yeah. Just, just like. I don't even know what nihilism really is. Right. Right. I just have the, the idea of it. I feel nihilistic a lot where I'm just like. What are you like, like how? Yeah. Like where I just like, I'm like, what am I? Why? What am I? Why? What why? am I doing? All what am time. I even doing anything? But for? you're not nihilistic because yeah. like you, you, you clean I your definitely. apartment and you want to do things like, like, I think it's still like you want things where I feel like a, a true nihilist is like a Buddhist monk, you know, like it, it, it's just oh. like to really. I'm too scared like, to think, be a nihilist. I think nihilism is like, like if, if you're such a nihilist, why do you got a TV, you poser? I'm not a nihilist. I'm saying I have nihilistic thoughts. And then I still like. No, I know. If you but strip that's what I'm all, saying. I think, I I, you know what it is? It, you know what it is? I'm not nihilist. I'm just lazy. Okay. Like if yeah. it really comes down to it, what I'd really like to do is maybe nothing. Yeah. But I constantly am doing things because I want to have you a just better. Don't care do you, about do some you have stuff. a lot of like existential fear? Do you have, are you like, yes. do you? Yes, are does. you like in the. No, not in, me. I'm good. I'm you're good. good. You're not having an existential yeah. crisis. He has, he doesn't have. You're the, solid. Yeah. No, no, no. He's just, just like a. a fuck, I'm, a, I'm an entire forest of oak trees. Absolutely. Unshakable. I can, yeah. Unshakable. 
Yeah. yeah he's unshakable. So you, you, I'm, 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 I'm genuinely happy. You can't touch a person that's genuinely happy. Are you on medication? How do you? How Zero, does, I've never, I, I've never been on medication he take, in my life. He, takes 50, taken, he does take really? 15. No, he takes 15 milligrams no. of Maddie every every day. So God, he is pretty you. fucking loaded on that shit. It's not narcissistic. Kool-Aid is strong. Yeah. Wow. And, 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 it's, it's like 50% fluoride, so I don't even have to brush my teeth. I just drink it. So I've kicked out. It's like, you know, Obama wears the same kind of suits, and he only eats like five almonds every day, and he doesn't have to make so many decision-making things. Right. Yeah. So same, same kind of thing. Yeah. I, I wake up and just tell myself I'm number one, and... Damn it! Okay, this is, one. Look at him this go. is what this is when I Look knew he go. was he was completely one hundred percent psychotic. <laughs> is that when he goes to a hotel room? Like when I go to a hotel room, I get comfy. Uh-huh. I put on the TV. I see what what movies can I watch. I'm on my phone. He says he goes into his hotel room and he sits on his bed and he just thinks about how great he is. No, for he, hours. no, you don't. He just sits there and he goes. You don't. I haven't watched TV in seven months, and I don't. I, I haven't watched. TV in a hotel room in four year over four years. Now. Are you no? You're fucking. It's crazy, right? Because I have to have a TV on to keep the voices away, right? Like that's the no. only. You know what you do with the voices? Oh, really? You do the fucking work, you weirdo. You fucking talk you, to them. You, you haven't watched TV in out. seven months. No. Yes, I have. No, you've been, you've been watching Hacks. Busted. That's Busted. the first TV. Actually, that's Marika. Yeah, that's nice. where I broke it. Nice. No, talk to Marika, who I live with in the talk city. To, talk to Marika. That's the I will first talk to one. Marika. Yeah. No, the, you're, you are true. I agree with you. You are true, yeah. I did lie. I did, did lie. lie. I, did lie. lie. I watched yeah. Hacks because yeah. I brought it up, but that is the first show well, why, that I have watched. Why Hacks over anything else? Like, there's a lot of good TV out right now. There is. Because I go to bed at 9 o'clock every night. Okay. So I go to bed at 9, and... and um, my children only watch children's shows, so I don't watch that. Mm-hmm. And then, and then, so I, I, I haven't watched a movie. And I just, I, 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 I've changed a mindset that everything, I don't accept luxuries like that. I know. It's so good. She's the best dog in the world. And this is how we leave the podcast. We watch Omar flick her tail. <laughs> this does, this does. She must be dreaming. And they're making this the noise. This doesn't that's happen so, anymore. That's never happened she before. That's be never happened. <laughs> she doesn't do it anymore. She barely happy. registers anything. She's happy. Oh. She's just like a lump of fur. She's happy. She is. No, I think, uh, okay. I, so think, I think I'm trying to, the thing that I'm trying to do right now is to only have things in my, like I, I, I'm trying to set myself up um, mentally where, where I don't allow things in that don't really add. So I, I like just, that I'm philosophy. Taking, I'm cu- I've just kind of taken TV. TV. I don't have the luxury yet. I'm not in a place in my life where I deserve to sit down and watch television. Okay. I can, I can sit down and relax. I can. I deserve to sit down and relax, but I don't deserve to sit down and watch like a movie. I don't deserve to strap in and watch uh, eight episodes of a TV fucking show. That sounds kind sure. of painful. Or do, do you? What do you? Do you guys meditate? I do. Yeah. Yeah. He does. He does. I don't. Yeah. How do you do it every day? Yeah. Nice. He has yeah. a routine. Good. He hikes. But, yeah. He yeah. eats a chicken every day. A full he, chicken. He, he no. meditates. No. He eats but, one full chicken a day. This is the thing. When I don't, when I, if I fall, here's the thing. At my core, yeah. I think that I just want to die. Yes, me too. Right? Yeah. <laughs> like my core self is like, yes. just terminate. Like yes, there's no point. Yes. But, but I get up yeah. every day and do these things so like I can just like be a person like in the world. Like every time you drive. Like, Every time Two Tone drives and mm-hmm. he's looking at it, he literally is just on Instagram, looking at Instagram while driving mm-hmm. on the highway. Mm-hmm. And Normal. and yeah, and I am always I just it. like, he that that's him choosing to you know he's going to end it. Well, you have I to you have to listen. You have to give Lady Death her opportunity to bless you with the sweet release. So Don't you just you, how I many agree. times do you I think agree. of just pulling it over and like watching like Final Destination? I always think lumber's going to fall off a truck yeah. and then bounce onto yeah. the highway and like shoot through and like. Knock my head off. Could happen. I always think that's gonna happen. Could and happen. the thing, here's the thing: it doesn't. It, it has no consequence. Like if I died, it would be like people would be sad for about a week, and there'd be some Instagram posts, and everyone just people would on. post. There's too people much would inform- po- there's you know how many people would post. Yeah. Two tone. You know how many people, yeah, people would post uh, about you. I would. I want to die I just to see. I would post about you. She would post, and she she's more than welcome. I'd, I'd be nice happy post. to see her post, but I'd love to be there to see the fake posters, the people like I didn't really fuck with, who didn't really fuck with me. You're like no. are like yo, the big homie. He's fucking gone. 
he meant so much to me. This dude like was a legend, you know, and like and graffiti like, man, <laughs> graffiti man. Yeah. I had that the other night in bed. It, I fucking I was like in bed and I started crying and I was like, what is this? Like, who am I? Like, I don't yeah. want to. You know, it was one of those things of just like I don't know what I'm doing here, yeah. and it was a very like. It almost wasn't even sad. It was just like scary to be like, who the fuck is? Well, that means you're this? an actual person. Yeah. Whereas Maddie is just oh. like, he's just some some weird machinery. Yeah, so no, so, and, 2000, no, 2018, fucking uh, coming home from Australia. I cried watching Tag on a plane, and that's the last time I cried. Yeah, but I know why wow. you cried on the plane, and I won't discuss it. Because friendship and eternal youth, and yeah. and, and I love friends so <laughs> friendship, much. Friendship, he cried watching Tag. I love, I love friends so I much, cried, and friends I cried mean watching, so much to me. I cried yeah. watching The Blind Side flying to New Zealand because I just gotten broken <laughs> up with. It's a great movie. And, I, and it was like anything would have made me cry. Yeah. And I, I remember- I think The Blind Side got canceled. That movie got canceled, didn't yeah, it? Oh, did it? With Sandra it's Bullock? It's a hunk of shit. What are I you think talking so. about? That's and sad. I, Come on, that's a sad was, one. <laughs> no, but the but also the pressure in the cabin makes you more susceptible, makes you more emotional. Crying. Yeah. But yeah. dude, do you think but you can actually a long watch flight Tag? Too. Can I watch it Tag? Is. It's a long flight. Do you think if you watch Tag, like you wouldn't cry? I would never cry. I don't know what the tag. fuck Tag. What even is Tag? It's I a would, great it's a great comedy about friendship cry, listen, and, and and taking the time once a year to just reconnect with your friends. I wouldn't cry watching Tag if in the middle of Tag they beheaded Omar. I still wouldn't cry. That's how much I would never cry watching Tag. <laughs> I didn't cry when my I thought I was going to cry when my children were born and yeah. I didn't cry when my children what were born. What did you do when they were born? Just hold them and take a po like a picture as soon just, as possible. You just took a picture. Yeah. yeah. He's, he's, soon, live, like, yeah. The, yeah. he's like, "Are we have coverage?" Live. Yeah. I was just yeah. like Trisha's just crush. I was just like, "You don't need suit Okay, cool. Okay, let's go. Yeah, let's go. Just get the pictures of me with them and we're yeah. yeah, like the baby's mine. Yeah. yeah. It's another yeah, yeah. it's another it's another one of your things that you own, like a motorcycle yes. or a farm. Yeah. It's like another yeah. thing. Yeah. That's so what everything is. It, yeah. it's, it's, he's playing a different game. He's playing Monopoly yeah. and we're playing life. And life is painful, but he's playing Monopoly. It's just pieces on the and board, kind of, baby. And you know what? That kind of the more you talk about it, the more I'm like, I wish I was there. Yeah, I want to play Monopoly. Mm, yeah, I want to look at people as interchangeable uh, objects. That's why you yeah, got to right? get to the point. Yeah. Where you got like this is yeah. an object. This is not Jason. Is an object. This person. I like. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like that you guys want to get to where I'm at. I do want to get where I'm yeah. at. Is 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 uh, it's we really just don't want to feel pain anymore. Yeah, I don't want to have the core of wanting to die. But I'm also yeah. like shaking hands with that. I'm like, I guess this is, this is what it it's, is. It's, it's, it's but maybe condition. that's my edge that I'm missing. Maybe that could get me to the next level. Is where I need to like get back to like some human emotions. The only time that he has any emotion when he's in. F the only thing I've seen him experience is the fear yeah. of people not liking him. That's his one big fear. And I remember one time, oh. I, one time I told him he hurt my feelings and he wasn't upset that he hurt my feelings, but I was like, were... he was upset that maybe I thought that he might not be a nice guy. And then he was like, well, let me see if I can fix this. Cause I can't have him thinking that I'm not, Right. but I know he's not a nice guy. Right. So like, right. Right. It's, you know, yeah. Gravi First off two tone. <laughs> okay. Alex <laughs> gravity's triangle. That's what they call it. No, 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 no. No, okay. Sorry. I genuinely thought I was going to take him and his partner out for a fucking dinner. Oh, that was another time. I, that time was another that was that, that, that was, time I was just pissed. I wasn't even I wasn't even <laughs> sad. There was no part of me that what was, was sad. The other time, then? I was like I've just don't be a douchebag. I've only he, made listen, you mad listen, once. Listen, listen, this is what he did. This this is awesome. This is classic. The classic Canadian <laughs> LA bullshit. He he goes he goes two tone. Uh, I want to take you and your girlfriend out for dinner. Uh, it's going to be wherever you guys want to go. And I think this is like a, lo a dinner that's been like trip after trip. He keeps saying, he's like, this is the time we're going to do it wherever you want to go. And I go, hey, honey, Maddie's going to take us out to eat. It's really nice of him. He's really showing some effort, you know. And uh, and he, and at the last minute, he texts me and he just goes, hey, and, I'm, and we, we clear our plan because we have we have schedules, believe it or not, yeah. that don't revolve around what he's doing. Interesting. And we clear our schedule on that day because like I actually have to schedule shit out like that. It's fucked up. And I'm like, okay. Here, Clear your schedule. Clear my schedule. We're going out with Maddie this night. And the last minute, casually, he goes, yeah, I'm skipping dinner. Uh, I guess we'll make it up another time. I'm like, what are you talking about? You've been telling me we're doing this for weeks. He's like, yeah, I just can't do it. I'm like, and I start digging. I'm like, what are you doing? He's like, oh, I got, I got this other thing. I'm like, 
And it turns out that he, instead of going to dinner with his podcast partner and his girlfriend, uh, he had literally to go, my, one of my oldest friends in LA, the first person to ever really your oldest fuck friend with me Jonas Woods, the artist. Yeah. Okay. Oh no. Yeah. The the person I got bumped for was like an artist, okay. and I look on Instagram, and he's like playing cards with a six year old at someone's house, and I'm like, you bump me for to go play cards with with a six year old child to impress a bunch of Hollywood people, right. like to impress some artist who's no. like you know, no. No, that's your perspective of that. Yeah. My yeah. perspective, and I said this to you before. Yes, I will always be able to buy you and Ella dinner. It's not about buying these us people dinner. wanted. They were friends, like new acquaintances. They wanted to make me a dinner. Yeah, and have me over, me and my friend Benny, and 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 they were gonna cook for us, and they made us a beautiful meal with their family, and I was just like that. Is a nice thing. Me, well, you know you, what? And you know Ella what, can Maddie? go out and eat whenever we want. That night That's that you canceled. Nice the night that you canceled was the night that we were gonna fuck you. <laughs> what we were gonna have a three way? We were gonna do yeah. it. What you've always wanted was gonna happen. And you I wrote just want to sit in the corner. You know, I just want to sit in the corner and watch. So then, you did you ever that? end up going to dinner after that, or was that <laughs> no? That it's never happened. Well, never we happened. still have so many opportunities. I'm coming um, out in August. He did it to in, me in again. August. He did it to me again the last time, where I was like, "What's up, Maddie? Do you want to get dinner?" He's like, "Um, yeah, I'm in Malibu, uh, poolside." So, and I go, and I'm like, "That sounds cool, man." I'm like, "Where's the invite?" No, nothing. Just like I'm chilling out by a pool in Malibu. There was okay, no cool. guest list. It was only. It was oh. a very. No, um, it's. He just doesn't see, want. Okay. I, yeah. I see it now. I understand. You understand it. I understand. I, a picture. If, if, if I ever get a plus one to somebody's house, I would love you, to invite you. Invite him. Yeah, because you need a plus one to get into a house. Yeah. yeah. I like don't, don't listen. Don't talk to me like I'm an infant. Okay. <laughs> Please, I just give me some. If credit. I get a plus one to I've a been dinner to a party, party before. you're gonna be the first person I invite to Toad. <laughs> <laughs> if you, if if I ever get invited to, you know, this when I go the, to the next the poker game with Leo, I'll invite you. Okay. What he also doesn't understand, Maddie, is like the pendulum swings. Yeah. And there's gonna be a time when like I'm gonna be on the other side of that fence. Yeah. Not that I. You've not, already sold. You you've already sold out. You 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 already have such a beautiful, amazing. Comp you're as big. That's it. Two tone. You've capped out. So that's like you're where you're at. So it's you're trying. So you're trying to uh, ca catch up to him now. Is that what yeah. you're saying? No, I'm, no, no, I'm no, trying no. to it's work. Not, Two tone is the most. Do you see the yeah. L.A. Times? L.A. Times writing about born and raised yeah. on the on the He's cover no of L.A. Bullshit. Times, okay. and, and and then and then I'm it's... I'm over here working. I'm an actor. I'm 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 unscripted. Mm. I, I work at so many so many different facets yeah. and mediums mm. of, of of entertainment. Not an artist, and, and I'm just no. trying to get to a place where I can relax. Yeah. Yeah. Tutone, he watches movies. Really he lays so on his hard. couch. He get he gets Postmates from different places at yeah. one time, and it's just like one of those things. Is I want to get to that luxury place. Wow. I want to get to a place where I can hang out with my dog. I can't even have a dog. Yeah, yeah. You can't even have a dog. You can't even have a dog. So I'm, I'm trying yeah. to work with two tone. I'm trying to I'm trying to be able to, to get to a place where I can get two tone to 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 buy him a yeah. dinner. I'm, I'm trying really, to get there, but I still have to do the work. I feel for him. Yeah, I it's hard see? being him. It is. It is. Wow. I will give him credit though. He did try to one day kidnap me in the middle of my work week and take me to Malibu. Physically, and him and Brick came by and they were something. like, "No, they're like, come yeah. on, come to Malibu." Just a hood, a couple zip ties. He was like, <laughs> "Yeah, come to Malibu. We're, we're going to uh, so where the fuck are they going? What's the shit? What's the no? We were I, we so, were so gonna go. No, we pulled sushi. up, so dude. Were, no it was boo. like the most no boo. <laughs> See, it's it's a, it's yeah, a, it's a house of sushi. We're going to Get Nobu, Malibu. I'm like, I'm, I have a job. Jalapeno, ponzu. <laughs> so, really good sushi. You didn't yeah, go? rock shrimp. It's really we, good. They go deep fry it. Sushi place on Sunset instead. It was really no, but it's like one of those things. Is like I tried to do, and things. what uh, I bought do. you that Gucci link. <laughs> Gucci I bought you a nice chain. That's really nice. I've done lots of really nice things for you. He bought yeah, you a nice chain. He bought me a chain. Yeah. So now he owns me. Yeah, Theoretically, so that's kind of how he everything is checks and balances. Well, buying a gold right. chain doesn't really affect me, so it's just like a nice thing to do, yeah, right? To keep you in the yeah, well, something with, to hang over, your right? Head to say, Look, I got you say, this, I right. got you this, and then the gift, yeah, that I, I like give to really use rejected. it. I use it a lot, yeah, I use yeah, yeah, it a yeah. lot. You do. It, that it comes up every chain, episode. You go, I bought you the Gucci link, and I'm like, Well, do I bring up your nipple piercing? Because you always have a bad friend, and then I'm like, No, I spent like. Yeah, I paid for the nipple piercing. How that's much were they? Seven thousand dollars for that nipple. Seven thousand dollars for a guy to come to your house in L.A. It's seven grand. Doctor Nipples is not cheap. Yeah, Doctor Nipples, so, he's a thespian. And you took or, uh, them. A, a he's a thespian. thespian. He is yeah. a thespian. He's a lesbian. And you took them out. Yeah. How? How? Hold on. How long did you leave the nipple piercings in for? The podcast. That was it. 
You endured yeah, that just, amount of pain cool. just for that. It was like it was a wrap. I was like, this is mm. not what it was supposed to be. And I, I was bummed because I was like, I finally get to do it. And I was like, pumped. I was like, genuinely stoked. I was like, fuck it, let's go. And when he walked, I was like, I was so excited. And then I was like, the jewelry is just like, I don't want to put that fucking whack ass shit in me. I want my big old fucking greasy hoops. Yeah, I had friends that would so get their nipples pierced and they'd get infected. You ever? Yeah, but I I use a loofah too <laughs> or the goshi and rip them out. Goshi. I, I don't I don't think I need them. I don't think I need them. It's amazing what we. It's amazing the fantasies that we. We ingest yeah. and we believe in. Like, I, there's a picture of a guy I saw with long hair once, many, many years ago. That's like, this, he had this crazy long hair, right? So I've always wanted, and I mm. keep growing my hair. I've done it like five or six, maybe more times. I grow my hair out to my shoulders, and I'm like in the process. And I grow it out, and then one, and it, this happens every time. I'm like, I'm, I'm doing it. I'm growing it. I'm going past. I'm going to be like long You're hair guy. Get, yeah. And then every once in a while, every the, every time, there's a minute where I look at myself. I go, What the fuck are you oh. doing? Yeah. Why do you have? Shoulder like, length, crazy long hair. Yeah, and I and then I shave it off. Yeah, and I keep doing it because in my mind there's this idea of like how cool I would look, but I'll never look that. Cool. Yeah, the fantasies that we don't match up. The to. fantasies that we invest in are just kind Absol of horseshit. Absolutely. Yeah. Sorry, Matt, are we interrupting? Yeah, is there something? Is a pizza arrived? What's going on? Should we? No, I have a film. I gotta. Um... He acts like there this was, is not yeah. the most important thing that he's ever. No, we, right, I yeah. have a, we're shooting. There's a film crew showing up here. They've been waiting for 15 minutes outside. <laughs> What are they shooting? To, is it for one of your shows or for something else? Yeah, our, I'm shooting like a thing tomorrow that they're coming to set up all the camera shit. Mm -hmm. So they're just waiting. What is it? Is so, it one of your shows or for another show for someone else? It's just it's for it's a commercial for a, a an oven. For are an you oven. are you in the commercial? Yeah, he slings a lot of shit. He sells ovens. Uh, oh wow! Wow, yeah. really cool. Yeah, <laughs> that's why I have such a nice space. Yeah. Yeah, that is. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Well, this has been quite a show. <laughs> we, we really, we really hit the skids here. Do we get an hour? Can you squeeze an hour out of that, Jason? Let's do, let's really press upon Jason to do a little bit of editing here because um, you know. No, I don't think we need much editing. I think Gabby's been amazing. I want to have Gabby back on, and we're gonna keep digging deeper. Oh, yeah, I'd love to. There's, I got a lot of stuff to talk about. Got a lot okay. of stuff to talk about. <laughs> well, thank you so much for coming on. And yeah, and thank you. I can't wait. Let's hang out what, next time I'm in L.A. I'll bring you out for dinner with you, Two-Tone, Ella, whoever. If you, just if get you, a bunch please. of people together. Wait, just, if, you have a, if you have a sitcom deal or yeah. you're headlining, then you're going to – you'll bump me for you because I don't have anything going oh, on. Oh, yeah, I'll let you know. Yeah. Um, good luck selling your oven. Do you have – Thank you. Yeah. Do 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 you want do you have any dates or anything you want to plug in? We got about uh, five thousand. We'll get about five thousand views on this. So <laughs> when does uh, maybe wh wait? When does this come out? Thursday. Thursday. I have something. Thursday. I, need to plug. I got something I need to plug actually. Thursday. I will be in uh, Royersford, Pennsylvania, Friday, Saturday with uh, Felipe Esparza. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Yeah. He's there tight. we go. Yeah, he's tight. Felipe Esparza. Yeah. By the way, and you're you're welcome to you're invited. Please. Born and Raised is doing a party at the Dome Friday night. Okay. Richard Humpty. Vision. What? what What night is Friday night? Friday night is the second. I won't be her. She won't be her. I would love to go though. Doors open. Uh, She's doing Humpty her stand-up comedy routine. In Pennsylvania. Is it still called a routine? Love... Yeah, I guess. Yeah. What do you call it? What do you call it? Just stand-up? You just stand-up? Yeah, up. just stand-up. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Great question. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> what do you call your stand-up? I would just call it stand-up, yeah. Do you call it... <laughs> No, it's stand, stand up comedy routine. My little, my, I would call it like my little talky talk. Yeah. Yeah. Little talky laughy. My little talky laughy. Talky laughy standing. My little jokey, my little jokey bits. Okay, quickly. Okay, here, let yeah. me ask you one question. Who, who, who is your favorite comedian? Oh. You know, I, I would have, I mean, it's controversial. Yeah. It's controversial. I'd say Louis. Louis is probably my. That's not controversial, it, right? I mean, depending on who Listen, you ask. Listen, I, I just. Uh, I love Louis. He, I, he's my favorite. I just, feel, I feel like, if you're funny, I'm not saying you can. That. If you're funny, you're funny. Yeah, it's true. If you're I funny, feel you're like funny. if you're funny, like I know that he jerked off or something, <laughs> which is like whatever. He, was coming, he got caught. He got caught in a wave of like they put him next. He to was like, pulling his de wiener put, out. Yeah, they put Louis C.K. next to like fucking rapists. Right, like yeah, they did. I know that he jerked off and he asked permission. Whatever the fuck happened, but you can't, you you can't throw, you can't throw everyone out. You can't. You can't just go. Let's scoop up everyone that's even had a boner and put them in a fucking <laughs> trash compactor. Like you yeah. can't do that, right? Yeah, you can't. I okay. know. Yeah. This, 
it's a woman, real woman here, validating that Louis. And then can I, I ask you something Louis. from yeah. an inside perspective? I just want to ask you one quick Insider. other thing. Yeah. What what we uh, with, with um. Conan O'Brien uh, going down, like leaving or retiring. Some comedians were like very like thoughtful, and then there was a lot of comedians that were just making fun of him, acting like they were like. What what what? What's the inside perspective on that? Or I do literally you, have no even, idea what you're talking about. She doesn't even know what Conan know. O'Brien is. I don't even Perfect. know. Perfect. Yeah, ha- Generationally, <laughs> I do. I don't know I what like happened. No, People were shitting on him for That's quitting. Great. Did he quit huh? a show, Maddie? People were shitting on Conan for quitting or something. No, his show's like I think it's reti- he's retired or whatever. Maybe his show's done now. And a lot of people were just posting like very like positive things. And then there was just a lot of comedians that were just being like, "Wasn't that funny? Who cares? Everyone posted like just kind of like oh. people just posting that he, he wasn't was that the, funny." Co- and Colin's like, so didn't, funny. Didn't, he had a very funny show. I mean, he dude, some of that shit the year two thousand. I think it was very funny. Bot, comedians shit. always do that though. They come out and start trying to fucking drag each other under the bus. You know, it's mm. yeah. anything to get. Any, you just realize that, like, anything kind of gets down to, like, you know, those like TikTok and YouTubers are just like they do a skit where they fart and then, like, someone pulls their tits out and the guy plays like a violin. Like, it's anything to make <laughs> an impression, right? Yeah. Like, you do anything mm. to get anything yeah. to p- get people to pay attention. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like to have a say in anything. Right. Finally, do... we can say that Conan's a piece of shit. Yeah. Uh, right. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I agree. Knows? Look, it's, it's true. Listen, uh, tomorrow night at the Dome. Born and raised Power Tools, Richard Humpty Vision, or a.k.a. Richard Vision. We're throwing a banger of a party at Florentine Gardens, so uh, get ready to dance your fucking tits off. That's all I got to say about that one right there. It's gonna be I didn't get else. invited to that. Yeah, yeah, you're invited. You're invited to every event I've ever thrown, so fly, fly down. Out. Have Jackie put you on the jet and fly you right into Jackie, the venue. Jackie, book me a flight right now. We're have going to have LA. that jet just crash into the venue. Let's just cut through it like <laughs> butter through a knife. That'd be perfect. I'll get one of those like, tower f- like big fan fly packs. Yes. I fly in. Yeah. Then nobody cares. Yeah. But nobody cares because it's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. yeah. Okay. Great well, show. Gabby, so nice to meet you. Yeah, Gabby, nice to meet you. Yeah, thank thanks you. Thanks for coming yeah. to this train wreck. Thank you so much. We, like, <laughs> I had a blast. You have no idea. It really means a lot. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, Maddie. Cool. Okay. Well, okay. We're going to cut it short. We, I got to go sell an oven. Yeah, you All do. Right. I hope you sell it. Good luck. 